So he makes she his she yeah, she she she's, 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 she's allowed to do what she wants. He makes his suggestions. She's allowed to do what she wants. Right. Know what you're doing. You're trying to bully people to do what you want them to do. Listen, the bully is the one who accuses people of bullying. Not the one who's beating up the person next to him. Just relax. Make the motion and I'll second it. You're going to get your motion. You're next now. You're a bully. We don't know a damn thing. We don't have a clue about anything. This is not about money. We don't have an issue speeding in our school zones. Run against me, you can sit up here. This is ludicrous. Well, then let them speed. I'm not speaking, sir. Relax. I don't know why you did this. This is on the motion to approve the ordinance on second read. Oh. Commissioner Caggiano? Yes. Commissioner Simone? No. Commissioner Serio? Yes. Vice Mayor Schwartz? No. Mayor Rosano? No. <laughs> oh, no. Enjoy the rest of the show. Now I'm going to make, now I'm going to make one. I'm going to do, I'm going to do what the city manager has suggested and table it yeah. for six so months. You, you've already you voted it down. Voted you voted it down. Uh, yeah, the ordinance was, uh, Oh, really? All right, and I'm on the I'm on the prevailing side. That would be, that would be, because he asked us to. That would be, he asked you to do this. She's allowed to do what she wants. She's allowed to do what she wants. She's allowed to do what she wants. Yeah, be quiet down there, be quiet down there. You can't keep no, bullying because no, it's not bullying. And you're when bullying you make a decision, you make a decision, but don't make a decision and say, you know what, I want to change you're it. You're bullying. Well, you're don't done. say the city I'm manager told I'm you to do this. I'm going you're based bullying. on what's in here. It's not bullying. It's being real to the people. If she wants to make another motion on the other she like, she's allowed to. Then let her do it then. She can do then it. Then she can do it. Do but it. what she's saying is the city manager told her to. No, and I'm going by the suggestions that I got today from the city manager. You want me to read You want to the police chief that knows about this? So, or anybody else? So what? I mean, so I would motion? hope he had some input in this. So what's your motion you'd like yeah. to make? I would bring it back. Knock yourself out. The, the motion, if I might. What's your motion? If I might, because the ordinance has already failed, you're on the prevailing okay. side. You can make a motion to reconsider. Uh, that would be an appropriate motion to make. The, the tabling isn't an appropriate motion because the ordinance has already failed. You can always bring this no, up the later on. Yes, the yes. It did fail. Oh, so, so there's nothing to stop the commission from bringing this ordinance back at a later date. Um, I thought you had to do it right away if you were on the prevailing. Well, no. if you want to do a motion to reconsider, you can do a motion to reconsider. You can, Dave, but you don't have to. You can if you want. Okay. You're allowed to. But if she wants to bring it back, you're allowed to. She can bring it back. Just bring me. You're allowed to bring it back if you want. Anybody could bring this back if they wanted if to. Not That's not true. If you wanted to bring this back and amend the ordinance to bring it back to some something, adding something in there, you can bring it back. Yeah. You don't have to play the games up there and let people know, well, you can't bring it back because you're on the losing side. It's not true, Anthony. You amend it and bring it back. Could she could she vote to bring it back and make a motion that this doesn't take effect for a certain amount of time? That was exactly what I was going to do. And if it never that we hold a workshop that it was suggested that we get more. I will read exactly what it said. You, you can do that whenever you want. You can do that at this meeting, next meeting. We don't need a workshop. People are speeding, they should get it. I was under the impression I had to do that. You don't have to do it. You no. don't. I a motion to reconsider can be made at the same meeting where the item was considered or the, can be. Okay. Or the next meeting. But, mm -hmm. has, all right, so but, the next but, meeting, but not any time after that. Correct. And that would be a motion to reconsider the the vote on second reading for this order. That's what that would be. So it would either be this week or next week. Because no. after, yes, because he said after no. either this or the next meeting. He just Correct. Said that. This was the next meeting? If, if, hold, hold on, David. Let me ask a question. You're telling me that if an ordinance doesn't pass and it's not brought up the next meeting, it can never be brought back? No, it's not. Okay. 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 I didn't say that. I'm just, can't bring it back. I'm just saying that to, to reconsider the vote on this ordinance that was made tonight, this, if you want to just start over again with a new ordinance at first reading, that can always be done at any time. By who? By well, anybody. it's going to be up to the commission to decide exactly. whether or not you want to have it. I'm trying to explain to you now that on that south side. If you want to bring it back, you can bring it back. I mean, know what you're doing. We, I know exactly what I'm doing. I know exactly what you're trying to bully people to do what you want them to do. Listen, the bully is the one who accuses people of bullying. Oh, oh okay. okay. He's not the one who's beating up the person next to him. Uh -huh. Oh, you're going to think about bringing it back? Oh, my God. I just made it clear uh -huh. that she can bring it back whenever she wants. Uh -huh. And just because you didn't know that, don't get all the I do know that. that was crazy I do know that. that. Just relax. I do know that. You can bring this back if you want to next meeting or two meetings from now. 
Can you just relax now? I wasn't going to relax. Alright, to make oh. life simple because. For once, I misunderstood for both thinking I could then make something. I should have then amended what he was doing when he did it, obviously, which I didn't do because I didn't realize. I'm going to go to bring it back. If it fails, it fails, but that way I don't have to worry about another time or the next meeting. So I'm going to make a motion to bring it back, but hold off doing anything for at least table it for six months so that the workshops and all the other things can be gathered. And Police chief would like to get up to If you vote to bring it back, the ordinance wouldn't take effect for six months. So even if, like Commissioner Smoan said, some of us want to rush to do it, we couldn't anyways because the ordinance doesn't even take effect Correct. for somewhere like a certain mm -hmm. amount of time. And then we would still have to have a workshop, go Correct. out to bid, bring in the companies, compare, compare apples to apples, or let, not, the, let the or police not bring after, after, after well, this is the ordinance. The next step would be to, if, if you're going to enact it, to have the companies come in, at that time the police can say, yes, we like this, no, we don't, or we like it if it's this company because of this technology or this method or practice. But so, right now, so, but there's nothing right now, in here that ordinance. hires anyone. It simply Correct. puts is, something in place if at exactly. some time someone wants to bring exactly. up doing that. Exactly. So, so it could never be brought up. It might never be brought That's up. That's true. But at least we could. So if, if what you're describing would be a two-step process. Um, you would first need to have a motion to reconsider okay. the the uh, vote that was taken on second reading. If the motion to reconsider passes, then the second reading is back on the table. Um, at that point in time, if you wanted to amend the ordinance to change the effective date, you can amend the ordinance, and then you would have another vote on the amended ordinance on second okay. reading. But the first step in the process is that you need to have a motion Somebody who's on the prevailing side needs to make a motion to reconsider either tonight or at your next meeting. Uh, but David, that can be done later as well. You can make a, a, you an amendment. Well, the, exactly. You're just starting all over. Correct. But to bring it back is basically insinuating that there's a reason you're bringing it back to pass it. Mm. Isn't no, that I'm not bringing it back to pass it. I'm bringing it back simply because it asks, it says here, I would recommend this either a tabling or a holding of six months. And setting a time frame to gather more information, hold a workshop, and or evaluate programs, results from other cities who have implemented it. So that's simply because that's what it says here. And I read it today. And I didn't think that was a bad idea. You also option. read the part where the police said that they were in favor of it, or that they didn't think it would help speeding. You read that too, right? Yeah, so yeah. he's going to pick. But, what um, you want. but this has right. to do with seeing what other cities think. It's not I about whether. I, I could probably guarantee that City of Coconut Creek won't have these cameras installed within a few months. Okay, so, then so why would you wait till the six months, bring this back as a clean ordinance, and then go from there? Why would you even bring it? Why would you want to bring it back right now? If you voted no, on, I'm just asking you. What the rationale is? The rationale simply was that I should have amended it when he did it, and I voted made a mistake of the vote, quite frankly, because I would have rather us vote on whether or not. We were going to table or wait six months. If that had failed, that's one thing. But I would, I should have added it onto there. Correct, Mr. Tolson? I should have amended his it. If, if you wanted to amend the effective date. We could do that right. right. Do and that. I should have done that then, which is why I misunderstood, which I so, rarely ever do understand. So in, in order to have any further discussion on this item, you'd need to make a motion to reconsider the okay. vote on second reading. That, or, that motion needs to be seconded and voted on. And if it isn't, it isn't. Or it could come back next month by another commissioner and start the process all over again. But why would you want? I mean, I wouldn't want. If you make the motion, I'll second it. No, that's why I don't understand why you voted no. But now you want to bring it back. I'll make the motion. I'll Except second like the motion if you bring it back. I don't understand it though. I mean, you, you can go to no on something, but yet you're going to bring it back. Oh, because I should have amended it to start with. For there so what? So, so you are in favor of this? Make no, the motion I'm in favor of second. doing the workshop and all the things that it says in here, which we will not do otherwise if you kill it now. Make you the motion and I'll second it. There's no reason to have a workshop if you kill it. You can always bring it back next month. As a Make the motion and I'll second it. So you're going to get your motion. Relax down there. Why would you do that? I simply <laughs> want the workshop. <laughs> <and I'll laughs> what, what, what more information do you want from the workshop? I mean... I want... I would have expected a tremendous outpouring of people here. Well, you had over 300 comments, 400 comments. 
They don't care. I guess they don't matter. Yeah, but they assumed that it had passed and it had not. And you know that's true. The first reading had passed. Nothing else had passed. And so I, for the first time ever, put something so, out there to explain. No, nobody did anything other than open it up for a second meeting, which okay, I have so, so let me clarify something. So right now, you're, it didn't pass, correct? It didn't pass? It has not. Well, it didn't pass. It didn't pass. So right now, now it's, it's safe to say. Yay! It's safe, it's safe, it's safe, it's safe, it's safe to say right now on social media that it passed. No, no, it didn't pass. No, it didn't pass. It didn't pass. It didn't pass by a vote of three to two. However, a commissioner brought it back. To reconsider. It's safe to say. You're a bully. Yes, it is. I'm a bully. Listen, one thing I've never been called. I was a bully. I was a bully because I protected my bullies. But when people don't get what they want and sit on the end, sitting there crying and make faces and throw their hands up, those are the people you got to watch out. You're the one who's turning red because you can't get people to do what you want. I'm turning red because I'm laughing. If she wants to change it, that's fine, but you're the bully. Then let her change then. Stop bullying. I'm going to make life simple tonight. <laughs> I'm going to wait until next week to decide to bring this back so we can end this now. So you do want to bring it back? I'm going to think about it. I wanted to do it before, Tommy, but I'm not going to have this nonsense back and forth. Yeah, they just make the motion. Well, the, the, the nonsense is being created yeah. because you're not sure if you want to do this or not. No, I was, had I done it right, I would have amended his motion to allow for it to pass but be on hold for yeah. six months or table it for six months. But I didn't. I didn't do that. Okay. I made a mistake. So that's the city manager's recommendation. Correct. Okay. Just to be clear. Correct. Okay. He's given us two things that if that he would recommend a minimum of six month hold period if we favor the adoption, or he would recommend a six month table. So, with all due respect, and I know the mayor and I are on different sides of this. But with, respect, but, but, but with respect to this comment, I mean, make a decision tonight. If you're going to bring it back, let's, um, let's do it tonight. That, that's what and, I'm saying. And I'll do that votes. I'm and trying and to do we'll, that. we'll delay it for, to take effect for six months so that we can follow the recommendation. And if no one manager. ever chooses to bring it back, then it doesn't Or, or don't. But don't, don't. No, it is coming. Well, I might bring it back. I might not bring it. Let's, let's. You know, I respect that so much, Antonio. Being transparent and being honest. That's exactly so you want to bring it back, bring it back. Then say it. That's what I said. If you two would stop arguing, I would have done it 20 minutes ago. So now I will, on the prevailing side, I would like to bring this back to allow it to have the workshops and whatever and to table it for six months. And so if nobody to, chooses so whatever six months is to bring it back, and I, so it will have to, to come back at the table. And if you choose not to vote for it, then you so we have to kill vote, it. You have to vote to bring so, it back. So if you, if you want to bring it back, you need to make a motion to reconsider. I'm making a motion mm -hmm. to reconsider. Second. <laughs> okay. All right. So this current, is what he said in the beginning. All right. So, um, Mr. Mayor, right now you have a motion made by Vice Mayor Schwartz that you to reconsider. The vote on second reading. No, so, I mean, it's, it's not debatable, no public comment. Commissioner Simone. <laughs> Why do you want a workshop? To learn what? What don't we know that you want a workshop? We don't know a damn thing. You don't we don't have a clue you know. how it works anywhere else. We don't have a clue about anything. And quite frankly, this is not about money. You have never seen me ask for anything that doesn't do education. I've never asked for anybody to be tagged with anything in their and their where they live. I've simply asked to educate the public. The, the, the workshop, I, I think some of us are getting confused. This is just the ordinance to allow the cameras. We may not ever do that. Well, yeah, the workshop was the workshop was to address a couple of things. One, six months from now, see what's going on with other cities. Correct. Is it successful? Is it not? Yeah, are people yeah. challenging think, it? Do you think six months is really long enough? I don't even think it's really, 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 really long, long enough. Be back in session. So yes, I think six months is more is fine enough time. It's either going to be during the time school's in session or not. It doesn't matter now in but June. It I, doesn't matter in July. If I could finish though, it was about it was to, to see that see what's going on with the courts. Does the state make amendments to the law? The company, I don't think that's going to happen in six months. The, the company, we don't have to have it in six months. Maybe yes. Yeah. All, all, all I'm saying, if it, the motion to reconsider, I'm assuming that's going to pass. I will make a motion to pass the ordinance effective six months from now, 
But we could have a workshop in a year, two years, whenever the commission decides to have the workshop. Again, to see the other cities, the companies. If listen, I know sometimes it, some some of you guys meet with people, don't meet with I meet with everybody. If I like it, I tell them yes. If I don't, I tell them no. But I know that each company has a different procedure. Some are pretty legit and have got great technology, and other are creating the company in their garage overnight and trying to bid cities for it. It's to bring in the top three, top four people, compare apples to apples. Do they charge to install? Do they not? Do they charge if we cancel? How, what type of technology? That, that's what the workshop's for. This is just about the ordinance. That's just like if the city passes an ordinance to go in line with the state to say that you can't sleep in public for homeless. doesn't mean we're going to go and round up every homeless person and arrest them, but we could. That's all this is saying is we could en enact the cameras if, if we choose to. That's all this is. All this overthinking about how fast or the signs or what if, and they're good questions, but that's not what this is about tonight. This is just about the ordinance. This, this is definitely moving forward, putting cameras in. I'm not committed it, to putting cameras in. But then, then don't vote on the ordinance. That's what I don't understand. Why, would why you put it on to start with? So the way, why ever put it on the agenda to start oh with? Boy, I didn't ask for it. Because a commissioner asked to look into this. And okay. we looked into it, and it was brought up. If you wanted me to be the type of mayor that won't always put things on when asked to. I could do that. That's I'm not fine. that type That's of how it wound up there. Guys, the way the agenda is set is I look at it, if I don't want some on the, something on there, it won't go on there. Point I've had it where I wanted something on in the past and it, I never got it put on. Point I probably want it, but I know that allows it. Only because in the past I've not had things on there. So you asked why was it put on? It was put on because the commission. All right, so somebody, now I know. Because otherwise, because it, it wasn't showed. put on by the city. We discussed this last meeting, and every Arlene, every answer you're giving is contradicting to what you said last week. No, every no. one. All I said last week is I thought it should have points. You said there were major accidents. There weren't. I well, I have remembered now. I know it's not in the time zone. I remember we getting things. Okay, you said that you wanted to wait till Coconut Creek, which is well, now. and now apparently so have you called plantation. Coconut, have you called Coconut no, Creek and asked them how they. Except your plantation has not selected a vendor. Oh, you haven't spoke to the police department. You, you, you're I'm going to make something. him very happy. You don't have to. Yeah. I wouldn't put on it. It's a lot. You could read the recommendation in there. Just, just. You've asked me 12 no, times if I've asked the police department. I, so now I'm going to ask I, the police department. Kevin, I said you don't have to be so specific, but going by, you know, I the, the red light camera companies you've met, were they friendly? Were they good? Were they, let's be honest. Uh, Your name? Uh, Major Strands. Thank you. And I'm only speaking on behalf of the chief because I was the one who met with all the companies. I was okay. the one that's dealing with this. So if there's anything I can help to clarify, please ask. Um, as far as change of behavior in school zones, the number one thing you're going to get to change behavior, in my opinion, and this is somebody who's got the majority of his career in traffic, um, as a motorcycle officer, as a supervisor of the unit, and now a major that the unit falls on. Um, the number one thing you're going to get to change behavior is putting an officer in school zones. Um, seeing us out there every day will change behavior. Uh, is it saying that the cameras aren't going to? No, because every company has said at some point 80% of behavior will change because people are going to get tired of getting tickets. At the same time, um, this is Broward County. There is speeding everywhere. We are never going to get a 100% solving of the speeding issue anywhere. Yeah. Um, if you guys decide to do the cameras, then you do the cameras. Would I rather get back our staffing level so I can put two more people in the traffic unit to help? Because our traffic unit is growing very thin. Not only do they do traffic, they cover for the SROs if the SROs are not in school for the day. They're helping with fleet issues. They are helping road patrol. So they're pulled all over the place. So if you don't see one in a school zone, it's because they're constantly doing something else. Um, if you want our traffic officers in the school zones, come the first day of school and assign there every single day with no other duty, I'll make sure it happens. Um, I have a question. And I don't, I don't disagree. 
And I said this at the beginning of my comments tonight, that this is not in lieu of live police officer. The cameras will generate enough revenue that we could fill your staffing levels. So to me, why not have, yes it is to some extent. There is, a, there is money from it, okay? For someone who's speeding in a school zone. It would pay for probably 10 more police officers. And you could put five of them out in school zones. Going back to my days when I used to speed, I saw a cop on the side of the road pull someone over. I'd go faster because I know that they, they're not going to pull me over. Again, only 213 tickets were issued last year. I don't see that number drastically going up unless we have cameras. But the revenue produced from it, which isn't going to go to like decorating City Hall, it has to go to public safety. It could be used to put on more police officers, could it not? So it has to go but to it's, gonna, it's going to end up being a lot of money. I mean, you saw the things. It's a lot of money. And, you know, there's been terms thrown around as far as school safety, money grabs, things like that. Let me tell you where I have the issue with this entire program. One, I think it should never replace the officers because I think they yeah. have more of an impact. Two, if this was all about the school safety and the school zone, these cameras would run while those lights are flashing. The problem I have with these cameras is the middle ground of the day. These, this, that house bill states that you can turn these cameras on a half hour before the light starts in the morning for early arrival and breakfast programs and let them run the entire day till a half hour after end of school sessions are, are finished. Okay. So while the school is on, which is when the kids are walking to school, parents are dropping off, it's 15 miles an hour. So at 26 miles an hour, you can get a citation. When the light turns off at the end of the school zone, the cameras then start writing tickets at 46 miles an hour. But, not to interrupt, the cities can set that threshold. They can. And I even, on the record, have said I would not set it that low. I would set it to make sure you're, you're talking about people drag racing, going 20, well, you know, plus. You have, to, you have to remember, in my opinion, too, all of these, these companies. Now, all of the companies said there is zero cost to install these. Where things vary is where, I, you know, and this is where you guys need to have a workshop with each company, is there's little differences in them. Um, if you cancel a contract for whatever reason, the thing you might end up paying for the cameras, you know, after the fact. Uh, and everything's on a five-year term with these uh, companies. Um, they're not going to want to set it too high because they are businesses. This is a moneymaker for them as well. They're not going to want you to say, hey, we want you to run these things at, you know, 11 p.m. on Atlantic Boulevard and set the speed limit on the cameras to 65 and only get the egregious speeders. Because ultimately, they're losing money in this as well. They're going to want you to set it as close to 46 miles an hour. And I'll tell you something right now. Every one of us works in Margate, lives in Margate, drives through Margate. Everyone in this room is going to get a ticket on Atlantic Boulevard at 46 miles an hour. Every one of us. I wouldn't set it that low. And, and what I'm saying is, you can. The house bill allows it. Right. The house bill allows it, but we set the rules. And being I, before I was elected, I worked for a company that sold to law enforcement. It was an innovative technology. And when these type of companies, which is what I see them as, they will do what. Look, if we're the city that waits two, three years to do it, yes, they're going to be very stiff with the contract. You're an innovator. I'm telling you right now, we would be able to set the rules as to what we want. There's no way they're going to turn, because they want them so bad. There's no way that they would turn it down if we want them to set the All depending on what I think what you said that's going to I don't think they're going to agree, and I could then be wrong. We send them, then, then we say that we don't do it. Then we don't do it. But it's two different things. Right now, we're just talking about having the option to do it. The second step would be one of Yes, and, and, and I, I understand that. Like I know the ordinance doesn't put a company in here and this goes to installing cameras. Um, regardless of this, this ordinance, I still suggest um, you have the workshop and let all, how many, at least four of the, the four companies I had come in and present to you. But like I said, if the whole school safety, I mean, I'm not a fan of these. 
I mean, this has red light kind of written all over it to me. Now, granted, there's been a lot of things done for these as far as the house bill being written that the red light cameras didn't have. I know they've been up in Georgia. Georgia's a different state, different rules and laws. I still think they're going to see challenges. Um, it's just the way it is. People are going to challenge it. It's the nature of attorneys. I don't know where it's going to go, how much it's going to tie up like the red light cameras did, but that's why I, if you are set on doing this, Six months, a year, whatever. Let other cities do it. Other cities that are, are gung ho on doing this. Yeah, I'll disagree with that. Other yeah. cities that are gung ho on doing this might not have had the red light cameras and don't know what we went through. You know, and this this program, and as we're short staffed, and I would love to put more traffic officers in, is going to be very labor intensive. We're going to have to hire somebody just to run this program. It's very labor intensive. There's going to be a lot of violations. Every one of them has to be reviewed by an officer. So what you're saying is going to be a lot. Of, is there going to be a lot of speed or support? What do you set the What do you set the speed limit at? I said uh, at 47 and change. change. At 47 and change. 35 and uh, 27 and change when it's 15. Well, it has to be 11 over by the minimum. Oh, uh, yes. Um, so that's a minimum of 46 or uh, 20, uh, 26. I don't have a problem with it being 47 or 27. Yeah, but it's also, to me, and I'm playing devil's advocate, it's going to cost more to put more officers on the road. Yeah. The, 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 speeders, the speeders are going to pay for that one or two people to be the reviewer. Plus, they oh. could pay to this. Put, how many traffic do you have now? Four. Four. We could probably have seven or eight traffic people. with the, uh, Since they need eight. Right. Well, the cameras, because I don't want, I, I'm, you know, I'm not going to say the word the cameras anymore. The speeders are going to pay. That's right. To have the person review no. tickets. Some of the, the speeders, speeders are going to pay. The speeders are going to pay to staff your department with more people. The speeders are going to pay to help put a third person on the fire engines. Yes, unfortunately, depending on what you set that speed at. <laughs> That's just like, going it's, it's just like with the compensated funds that we use. Everybody. We, we spend forty, fifty thousand 50000 every year on our national night out. <clears throat> that comes from compensated funds. The criminals are paying for it. Same concept here. Yes. I'm not disagreeing with it. It's, a, it's, a, it's an enormous moneymaker. Those, right. those studies that were given are clearly... Right. It's... And yet, and it's not, and, and, and you don't feel that it would slow down speeding one iota. Of course, it's going to slow down Thank speeding you. and an iota because the company state, they, people are going to get tired of getting tickets. I agree. And then they so, say, but it's, it's not going to run. cure. We don't have an issue speeding in our school zones when the lights are flashing. From somebody who has stood in the school zones countless times, I will tell you, we don't have an issue when those lights are flashing in our school zones. Now, when it's school's in session at 11 p.m. on that school day, when these cameras are still rolling, you're going to get them all day. All day. As somebody who sat on a motorcycle for five years, I will tell you that my speed on Atlantic, before I even pulled out to talk to somebody, was at least 50. And I could write tickets all day long if I wanted to. Mm -hmm. So, yes, it's, you're going to get... <clears throat> You're going to get a lot of tickets, and it's going to generate a lot of revenue. And what it does, whether it goes to the officers, the fire department, okay? But I still say, I would love to put, you know, officers standing in the school zones are the biggest deterrent. I think we all agree with that, but you can't manufacture what you don't have right now, right? And you but I, I, but I gotta hear, tell you, I listened to you say that people are going to get tickets all day long, so we should do nothing about it. And that just drives me crazy because as someone who drives that street 20 times it's, a day it's not and gets that, people it's cutting not that, me off or going around me when the light is not even there. It's not that we shouldn't do anything about it. I'm just trying to look at something more reasonable. You know, hey, we already, I agree. We already, I said, love we already said that the, the speed limit in Atlantic is 45. So if you're, I'm sorry, no, it's 35. I'm just, the speed limit through Coral Springs is 45 because is 45. they come right across. So people doing 48. 65. 48. Are they speeding? Yeah. They are, <laughs> but they can't get a citation by state statute. You have to be at least six over by our current state statute. That's what I'm saying. No one's gonna, it's not a gotcha. Yeah, but it's not a gotcha. Stay, but, my, but my point is, if you stay at 47 miles an hour driving from your house in Springs to get to work in Pompano, and you stay at 47, you come through Margate, those two school zones, 
you're getting a ticket. I have no problem with Coral Springs people paying for our extra police officers. Yeah, I don't have a problem with that either. I think that's a, a marvelous idea. But it's not a money grab. People stop speeding. Isn't that the, yeah. we talk about this is all about safety. This is all um, about getting people to slow down. Not, not, not the school zone, it's not. Oh, okay. We want to speak in the school zone. Well, I, I'll, just finish, I'll just finish with the people yelling out in the crowd that we can hire four more officers that can go ticket all. You can pick the streets. Where do you want them to ticket? They'll go. We'll have the officers and the funds to do We've it. We've been telling you that. Right, hold on. we got to have money. That's why we're up here and we're not. Because you can't just spit things out. And they go, oh, this and this, and you have candidates coming up here talking with no solution. Come up with a solution. Know what you're actually talking about. Know what you're talking about. Hold on. I okay, do. Please. Sorry. Right, commit. The numbers don't lie. Commissioner Simone. Run against me. You can sit up here. No thanks. Hold on, guys. It just amazes me that we asked Major to come up and give his opinion, and yet we're arguing with him. And he'd love to have more offices. We'd love to have more money to pay Marty Cooper came up here and said that we got $3 million more for a property tax. There you go. There's $3 million no, no, right there. There's no inflation. The cost of everything's gone up. And we only get 25 cents on every dollar. Can, can, you, let, can you let the lady speak without butting in? <laughs> But it just amazes me how you ask him to come up and give his opinion. He's given his opinion, and you sit up here and you argue with him for his opinion. It, it's this is ludicrous. Absolutely. So what's the solution? Well, then let them speed. Now you know what, you guys. It, this all goes back to speeding. It starts with the school because the kids. Then it goes to speeding, and then it goes to the money. Basically, what I've been hearing tonight is it's okay to drive 45 miles per hour on a land full. That's what I've got out exactly. of this majority of the commissioners. You guys are okay to drive 45. You guys are okay to break the law. No, we're it's not a, okay with that. But no, no, no. no. Pull but you you're saying, you're and they said they can't pull you over unless you're doing it. But you're saying there's a reason why you can't say these cameras less than that because there would be more money coming in. They make this very enticing for people. Very enticing. You just heard what our profession said. Respect them. That's all. Yeah, but we've heard things in the past about fine ways to make. We don't want to raise taxes. We don't want to add fees. We want all these extra services. I Antonio, this has never really been brought up as an issue until a camera company got involved. If you guys were so adamant about the speeding in the speed zones, go to the chief and say, you know what, have a guy there all day writing tickets. And that's what this is all about. But we just heard it's all about safety. But yet, during school, when kids are in there, there's no safety issues. We have a motion it's not a safety time. issue. It's a money grab, and that's exactly what this is. That's what you know, and I appreciate you, Major, walking the thin line here. Sure. But uh, do, do we have a vote for a rebrand of fact? I'm not speaking, sir. Relax. So I appreciate you coming up, and I appreciate you, your experience and, and your knowledge of this. But to ask that you want more knowledge, more public meetings, and stuff like that, it's your you're entitled to do that. I just wouldn't agree with it. Can I ask you something? Who set the 35 mile an hour in Margate? Uh, yeah, yeah. Who set the 45 mile an hour in Coral Springs one half a block later? Same thing. How is that even something that we don't have a problem with? Well, it's not. Uh, yeah. Is Atlantic Boulevard and Coral Springs no, any different I mean, than Atlantic Boulevard and Margate? No, I mean, you'd have to look at where, like down by, down. It, it goes back to 45. It goes 45. Uh, you know, it's 40 further west on Atlantic, it changes, and it, and it changes because you get into residential areas, whereas when it's 45 coming through there, uh, it's most likely because there's no um, direct driveways out. It's You have the car dealerships, you have the communities that are set by the lights. You look back at school, you realize that. You realize that uh, Rebel with Nils right. is sitting right there, and yet it's 45 here. Yes. But the school zone is still 15 when it's flashing. To me, it is all about people not speeding. It's not about the money, it never has been. When Erin Young worked here, she would sit on her motorcycle on Atlantic Boulevard, no matter what time during the school flashing light time, 
people were pulled over. I don't know if that still happens because we may have had more people working for us than we do now. When Bill Phipps is right there. I can remember going back how many motorcycle people would sit there. I'm sure I saw you there at some time too. We don't seem to have that amount of people anymore who are dedicated officers to just sit there during the time of the flashing lights. Sorry, it was always a motorcycle cop because I assume they moved a lot faster. Do we don't have that, correct? Because we're having because we have personnel issues. Right. We need to hire right. additional people. But it's not because anybody said don't hire, it's simply because there's a scarcity of people coming out and, and I guess a, a ton of people bidding for wherever they go. But not because we said don't hire those no, people. No, we have the vacant spots. Right. So it's just hard to keep up with, whether it's retention or hiring. Right. So it's not that anybody's looking to replace an officer. I just want to see people learn not to speed down that area. And no, I don't think a 35 doing 50 in a 35 is okay. I don't think it's okay. It's not okay in other cities. It shouldn't be okay here. But the yeah. idea that it goes from 45 a block from my house, less than a block, but traffic wise, from my house to 35 is something I've always questioned. It's because they come across and probably don't see our signs. I know where our signs are. I know where their signs are. I was just looking for a way to change people's behavior and not to say it's acceptable to do this regardless of the time of day it is. I'll tell you what, what you know, the red light cameras came and went, but while they were there, I think I got two of them. After the second one, I was over I stopped, I checked, I made sure it definitely changed my driving habits. And it should. And I deserved them. They will realize these cameras have only run 100 days of the 180 days of the school calendar. Right? Correct. So it's, it's, right now, they are all cameras. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. um, Commissioner Smith. I thank you, though. I do appreciate it. Sure. So I think we should put up more lights, if we can, along the sides of the roads, uh, make them very visible. And I don't think you need an officer there every single day. I think. If you have enough officers out there frequently, then it's going to change people's behaviors. I don't think we need somebody sitting there every single day or many officers sitting every single day. But if people see officers out there quite frequently, it's going to change people's behaviors. I know on uh, Riverside Drive, it used to be 40 mile an hour speed limit. When they redid the road, they dropped it down to 35. And I'll tell you what, I make sure that I look at my speedometer when I'm on that road now because I've seen so many people uh, get pulled over on that road that I know not to go over 35 on that road. And if the cameras are giving every speeder a ticket, when the officers pull over on the side of the road and someone speeds by, they don't get a ticket. The camera gets I can't see anybody. I would never speed by some, an officer giving somebody a ticket. No would I. I've had officers tell me that they can't believe that people speed by them while they're in the car. Well, you know what? Sometimes they have two officers. I've seen that too. But I have one there. They'll pull somebody over, and then the car will whiz by, and guess what? A block down the road, there's another officer sitting there. We have they officers there very frequently, and we have a speeding problem based on the studies. So I don't understand if the cameras are there. Based on day. their studies. The police do. Yeah. Any questions? Your lights on? No. They were one. You right now. You motion to reconsider. Right now, what's pending is the motion to reconsider the vote on the second reading. All right. <laughs> okay. I don't know why you did this. Okay. I got to bring back up the public. Yeah. No. No. no it's not public. Talk. Okay. Motion now to bring back the ordinance. Commissioner Casciano? Yes. Commissioner Simone? No. Commissioner Serio? Yes. Vice Mayor Schwartz? Yes. Yeah. Mayor Rosano? No. All right. Okay. So, so now, now, so now, now, now the ordinance in second reading is back on the table. So what I will do is I will make a motion to approve the ordinance, the issue at hand, not a company, the ordinance, and I'll make it effective six months from now. Effective in that we can look at it again. Well, the ordinance, if it passes, it passes. Right. It's just not going to kick in 
for six months from now. And even if we wanted to have cameras, we'd still have to go out the bid, have a selection, have a workshop, and bring in a company. But to, Sorry. but to, to quell off any concern that this is being pushed on, even if I want to do this tomorrow, I gotta to wait six months. Also, so, I so, can I, so just for the record, the effective date in section six of the ordinance would be uh, July or January third, twenty. Right after the first of the year. Perfect. January third, twenty twenty five. And that would be back to that would be the, the ordinance would go into effect, which would then give the city commission the ability to hire a company to uh, install. Can I ask a dumb hypothetical? Okay, so sure. Okay. If there is an election and there's a, a, a new commissioner, can they bring this item up to reconsider it to be void? Well, the commission can always bring back an ordinance. Yeah, they could do repeal, that, or they could just not vote. An they could not vote on it if a company comes up. They but you're saying that it, right now, if we vote, it's going to pass. Right. I don't know. I mean, no, no, no. Okay, okay. If we vote on it and it passes, it won't go into effect. It won't go into effect, but the ordinance will still be there. The ordinance will still be there, but it won't be effective until January 3rd. And the commission would still have to pick the company. So can the commission at that point, before, mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Remove the ordinance. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. So now I have a question. I would prefer to see it tabled as opposed to automatically uh -huh. come back for the six months. Right, so, because so, that was the so, second so, choice there, and that was the one I would have gone for to start with. All right, so right now you have a motion to approve the ordinance on second reading with the amendment to the effective date. So now I can make a motion. I can amend that. You can, table. You, you you can, can make, make, you table make a motion to table that. that. You can make a motion to table that motion. And that's all I ever wanted to do when? to start. Until with. when? I don't care. It's nine months. As long as right. I get to see what other people are doing. I need a date. I just kind of you want nine months? Yeah. You want nine months? So that would be every March or April. April 2025. Which would give us a whole year for school to be in and almost out by that point. So right I now, know, the, right, it's so, all I would have done to start with. All right, so the vice mayor's made a motion to table the item till April 2025. Is there a second? Yeah, but we already I, have a motion. I know, I amended it. She's making a motion to table the, the vote on the second reading of the ordinance. Okay. I will vote to second it, to table it. Just so it isn't approved. But point okay. of order, we already have a motion and a second. Yeah, but she, she asked it. for a table. She's, amended. She's yeah, table. but only if the most person makes the motion accepts the amendment. No. No. No, wait. She's doing it. She's no. tabling the vote on that motion. The consideration of the ordinance. Well, which now you don't have to can't can't discuss. So you, have, so you have a motion to table till April 2025 and seconded by the mayor. But then you have a whole year. And there's no, no, you could just no pass discussion. the ordinance and then. I didn't want to do that to start with. I wanted to take it. Jen, call her We've done that 20 hours ago. It's a game show. Commissioner Casciano? No. Commissioner Simone? No. Commissioner Stereo? So I can be on the prevailing side just to make sure. I'll say yes to take it. Good. Vice Mayor Schwartz? Yes. Mayor Rosano? It's like a chess game. Yeah, but at, least I, I, at least I know what I'm doing, though. <laughs> Do you? <laughs> <laughs> um, so we table it, it doesn't pass, correct? Correct. 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 And if I don't table it, it's going to come back and it's probably going to pass. Correct. <laughs> 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 okay, can I, I will. Can I change my vote? <laughs> I will sure, want you to do it. Sure. Yes. yes. All right, can you recall the vote, Jen? I recall? Commissioner <laughs> Casciano. Is that a motion to table? No. Okay. Commissioner Simone? Yes. Commissioner Seria? Yes. Vice Mayor Schwartz? Yes. Mayor Rosano? And this is what I asked for last meeting. Yes. Okay. So is everyone oh, sure now? Oh, I was giving it to you, so, but I forgot so so the second reading of this ordinance with the amended effective date of six months out has been tabled till April 2025. Okay. If there's no other further discussion, make sure you all attend the longest running parade fireworks show in South Florida tomorrow morning, 9 a.m. Don't miss it. And 9 p.m. will be the fireworks. God bless. Have a great evening.